Welcome to Crosstalk Solutions. My name's Chris and this is Free PBX 101 version 15 part 23. We're going to be talking about system recordings. Now system recordings are essentially exactly what they sound like. They are recordings that you make into the system, into the PBX, right? That allow you to use those recordings at various places throughout the PBX. So a good example would be your auto attendant greeting. Thank you for calling Dunder Mifflin Paper Company. Please press one for this, press two for that, etc., etc. So while we're gonna be using that recording in an IVR, the system recording itself is a separate entity that can be reused in different places throughout the system. So let's start by taking a look at our IVR design. Now in this IVR design, I have five different system recordings that I need to record. I have my main system recording. This is the IVR main recording. Thank you for calling. Press one for this, press two for that. I have three different closed recordings. I have one for weather, one for holidays, and one for just closed. Now again, I am going sort of overboard on these system recordings. In this case, you could just have one recording that says we're closed. And anytime there's a weather event or a holiday or you're after hours, you're sending people to the same announcement. It doesn't really matter as far as the design goes. But for the purposes of this video, we are going to have three separate announcements, uh, which each will have their own separate system recording. Finally, I have a different system recording over here. This is for when someone calls the accounting ring group and no one picks up we're gonna play this announcement and then dump people into Angela's voicemail box. Now, why wouldn't we just send you know, the people straight through to Angela's voicemail box? Because her mailbox would have a personal greeting. Thank you for calling Angela Martin. I can't get to the phone right now, blah, 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 right? It has nothing to do with general accounting uh, mailbox, but we do want the voicemails to end up in that same mailbox. So what we do is we basically play an announcement first with the system recording and then send people into that mailbox but with no outgoing greeting on the mailbox. So we're essentially bypassing this user's personal mailbox greeting and sort of prepending it with our own system recording announcement. Okay, so this will become much clearer when we actually hop into the PBX. Let's go ahead and do that now. From the dashboard of free PBX, I'm gonna come over here to admin and then I wanna come all the way down to system recordings. We're gonna click add recording. And the first thing we wanna do is give our recording a name. So let's start by recording our main IVR greeting. So we will call this main IVR. For the description, you can make it whatever you want. I'm also gonna call it main IVR. And then there are three different ways that we can record greetings into system recordings. We're gonna try out all three. So the first thing you can do is you can just upload a recording and then drag and drop it. Typically that would be in WAVE or MP3 format. But if you hover over the question mark next to upload recording, you can see all of the various formats that this will take. Second, you can record through the browser right here. So just using my microphone, I can make a recording. That does require that you have a valid Let's Encrypt or secure certificate uh, as part of your HTTPS connection. The browser needs that in order to be able to utilize the microphone to make that recording and as well as play it over your speakers. And then finally, you can also just make a recording right over an extension. So you can put in an extension number and hit call. It's gonna call my extension. I can pick it up, make my recording and then hang it up and then name the recording and we're done. So let's do that one first. This is extension 200. So I'm gonna say record over extension 200. And then let's bring up our main IVR so that I can see my script here. There we go. And we're gonna say call. Thank you for calling Dunder Mifflin. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time. Press one for sales, press two for customer service, or press three for accounting. If you would like to speak to the receptionist, please press zero or stay on the line. All right, done. So once I've hung up, oh, okay. Once I've hung up, you need to name the file. So we recorded it. Think of it as like a clipboard copy and paste, right? I recorded that uh, recording and now it's sort of sitting up there on the clipboard waiting for me to name it. And once I name it, then it's sort of 
a, you know, saves with that name. So we're going to call this main IVR and click save. And now you can see it right up here. So let's see if we can listen to it. Click the play button. Thank you for calling Dunder Mifflin. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time. Press one. And there it is. Press two for cover. Okay, so now that we have that recorder, we're gonna click Submit and OK. So now we have our main IVR system recording, but let me show you one other thing. So we're gonna edit that system recording. And now down here, we have link to feature code. So this is something that you might want to enable your users to be able to do. A user is not gonna want to log into the admin interface of FreePBX in order to re-record a system recording. So if you say yes, for link to feature code, it gives your users an optional feature code, in this case it's star 291, that allows them to re-record that greeting. So basically, for especially for something like inclement weather closures or holiday messages, something like that, where they might change on a fairly regular basis, you can have a little you know sheet printed out next to whomever's responsible for making those recordings with the codes, and then this one is for the main IVR, this one is for the holiday greeting, this one's for the weather greeting, and then they can pick their phone up, dial that code, make the recording, hang up, and then it, that recording's just immediately changed wherever it's used throughout the system. Note also that you can have a feature code password here so that if someone inadvertently figures out that code or, or you know, sort of dials it by accident, they can't, you know, re-record your IVR greeting. Okay, so we're going to turn on our optional feature code and we're going to say submit and we're going to say okay. Now it's converting that recording into all of the various formats that the system needs to use it in and finally we can click apply config. Okay, now we have three other recordings down here. They're basically all of the, they're basically the same. There's just slight variations for weather, holiday, as well as just generally closed. So we're gonna do those through the browser. So we're gonna say add recording. We'll call this closed general. And here we have our record button. So let's see, what does this say exactly? I'm gonna put my script off to the side here so I can read it and we're just gonna click record. We have to allow the system to use our microphone. And we're recording, but of course I didn't think, I was looking at this zero zero and not this one over here. So I'm gonna stop it actually, and then delete it. And then we're gonna do it again. So record. Thank you for calling Dunder Mifflin. We are currently closed. Please leave a message and we will return your call during normal business hours. Save recording, name the file. We're just gonna call this closed general and save. All right, let's listen to it. Thank you for calling Dunder Mifflin. We are currently closed. Please leave a message and we will... Okay, so just like that, super, super easy. Let's go ahead and submit. Okay, add another recording. We're gonna call this closed weather. Give it a description and hit record. Thank you for calling Dunder Mifflin. We are currently closed due to weather. Please leave a message and we will return your call during normal business hours. Save the recording, close weather, save, submit, and okay. All right, one last one for closed for the holidays. Description, record. Thank you for calling Dunder Mifflin. We are currently closed for the holiday. Please leave a message and we will return your call during normal business hours. Stop, save recording, closed holiday, save, submit, okay. And there we have three more system recordings that we recorded through the browser. Now the final way that we can record system recordings is to do it externally, right? So a lot of people like to hire voice talent to actually record their recordings. Uh, Allison Smith, for instance, I'll put a link down to her down below. She is the voice of Asterisk. And if you wanted to have her do your IVR so that your entire system is the same person, the same voice, uh, all of the prompts and everything, that's a really good choice, right? Or you can, 
you know, when we set up customer systems, I record with my good microphone and then upload the recordings rather than do it through the browser where it might not be as high quality. So we're gonna say add recording. Now we don't have the recording yet. We actually need to make it. So I'm just gonna do a quick recording in Audacity. Now Audacity is a free program for Windows. Uh, it might be on Mac too, might be on Linux. I really have no idea. I'm only using Windows, so uh, let's just make sure it's working. Test, 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 check, check. Test, 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 check. Yep, so it is working. So let's go ahead and record our last recording for the accounting voicemail box. You've reached the Dunder Mifflin Scranton branch accounting department. We are unable to get to your call at the moment, but please leave a message and we will return your call as soon as possible. Stop. Now, when I'm doing these recordings in Audacity, notice there's a lot of space at the front and back, so I just move my mouse like that, hit delete, move my mouse like that, hit delete, and sort of just get rid of that extra space at the front and back of the recording. Now you wanna say file, export as wave, we're gonna save it as closed accounting. And we can close out Audacity. So now I have a file called closed accounting. And so we're gonna call this closed accounting, copy, paste. And now we're gonna drag the WAV file right here. There we go. And I have it right there. And we can just say, Submit, and okay. Now if we go listen to that one, play. You've reached the Dunder Mifflin Scranton Branch Accounting Department. We are unable to get to your call at the moment, but please leave a message and we will return your call as soon as possible. There we go. So that recording is now in the system. So now all I'm gonna do is click Apply Config, and that's it. We've got recordings in our system. That's gonna do it for system recordings. In our next video, we're gonna be setting up some general voicemail boxes, so we will see you in the next one.